tools because I mean he'll be working with a mechanic and it's, it's going to be more or less I think as a more of a helper yeah and just a lot because it's a learning experience for you and if we got them out and they're locking out you know if you're there if you touch the machine it's locked out you need to have a lock on it I mean that's good practice um, I've seen people sent home before I've seen people terminate it over lockout tagouts. Yeah. So, but again, those are things that you'll learn here as far as, you know, some of the, I guess, the rules within manufacturing. I mean, if like there's that, something you need from a standpoint, tool wise, that we can purchase for you just to get with Michael, we, we well, can do that. Yeah. Yeah. If you can get us, we can get that. Thing. I'll get with Chris. And, uh, yeah. But again, even if we continue, it, it may be a, a, a toolbox that when he's through, the next guy comes in, the next yeah. girl comes in. We can just pass it off and you know that way it's or even here but we've got tools you'll be able these guys don't care to share yeah, yeah, okay. all. but like i said you're gonna be working with some some good people you'll you'll enjoy your time here did you complete the oh shit team training yes okay i, I actually completed good. it with you and mr smith that's what i thought yeah. if you get the opportunity to do ocean authority that's great it's uh that's another good course to go through it kind of gets more in depth on the uh, just to, to lock out tag so it, it's it's a week long it's five days 40 hours same as uh, as well the ocean 10 it's uh is it actually just 10 hours or it can be it, it typically takes us more like 12 or 13. i got my ocean 10 way back when and uh on my ocean 30 i went through it and i got my days mixed up i did it local in greenville I uh, come here on day two and I said, where you? I said, I thought it was today. So they made me go to Nashville to get that last eight hours. <laughs> so, but. And Connor, just a couple of things. We are, we do print on food grade items, meaning we print on things that either do touch food or can touch the food. Right. So there's some rules that you look fine today. You're legal. I'm not legal for two reasons. I got buttons and I've got a pocket. So when I was out today doing some stuff with Mike, I had a vest on to cover up my buttons. Right. So what you have on is fine. Right. You know, Hoodies is the biggest thing. A lot of times people forget and wear a hoodie. A hoodie is a no-no. Because -no. anything that can fall out of it, get in the product, that's where we have to, on our certification, we have to be careful there. The other requirement that we have is we wear hair nets and beard nets. So you, even with a hat, you still have to wear a hair net underneath your hat. Uh, we, we provide those that are at the entrance. When you come in, they're right there. Just get you one, throw it away. Uh, they're there. What else? Washing your hands at the yes. entrance, at the pool entrance, which Michael showed you today, where yeah. you can come in and your badge will let you in there. Uh, there's automatic hand washers there, so just stick your hands in there, it washes them and you dry them and you go into it. So when you go out, if you go out for a break, or when you go to the restroom, that's another requirement to wash your hands before you come back in. So. We've got BRC audit coming up next March. Yeah. And there'll be so auditors next standing. Week or two, yeah. There'll be auditors standing to watch them and see if people come in. And if they don't put their hair on or if they come in without washing their hands, it will be a fine, it'll be a minor. So, I mean, they will, I just went through the BRC audits at, at McClare and, you know, it's, they can be pretty, as tough as they want. And say they will get you a water bottle. Um, yeah. It's like the one Brandon has are not legal on the floor. But we've got some that are that you can put water only in on the floor. We can't use any other sugary drinks because if you spill the sugary drink spill, it attracts flies and gnats and spiders, and that's another finding. Right? So the right. only, only drink we can have on the floor is water in the approved container. He'll get you. He'll give you an approved container for the floor. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, when you're in a break room outside, you can you can drink the soda or whatever you want to, just on the actual on the. On the I'll floor. show you around, and like I said, uh, you can be starting tonight. Is that? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, he's starting today. So. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll get you hooked up with Chris, and I'll, I'll like to introduce you to Waylon. He's our maintenance supervisor on day shift, Waylon Green. Uh, I'll give you my contact number, Waylon's number, and we'll get yours. And like I said, just when you when you head this way, just make sure you get here. Don't rush. Right. It's not it's not worth rushing. And then when he gets here and comes in and clocks in. Who, who should he go find every day? He will go to the main shop. Okay. He will go to the main shop and you can hang out there till Chris there because that's, that's where they go. And the thing about manufacturer, you know, there's a, a period there. Uh, you'll be coming at 2.30, so actually that's pretty much in yeah, that's line. Change. Yeah, that we shift you here at 2.45. So, yeah. Yeah. so you'll be able to talk to day shift. You'll see day shift ending and then you'll see, plus, you need that period to say what's going on, what you're working on, what are some issues. I can show you the, the triad, or no, sorry, not triad board, but our Gamba board out here, our tier two, 
Uh, so there, there's a lot that we can show you, but again, we we'll, we'll look to it each day. Yeah. While you're with Sarah, you won't have to worry about clocking in and out. We'll, we'll keep track of your time on an Excel spreadsheet. We just okay. make sure that we forget you or something. Holler at us. We want you to get paid. So. Yeah. <laughs> have you got any questions? They're good to holler at me too. We're, how many hours have gone to work? I mean, I ain't really got no questions. I mean, just figuring everything out as I go. Okay. We'll, we'll help you there. Don't worry about it. We'll You'll enjoy. Uh -huh. And two, I admit it's heat in the winter, and air conditioning in the summer. So what you got on, you don't really need. It's fine. A lot of, most people wear just a t-shirt with no pockets on it. So. I've been. I've worked in the places where it's not conditioned, and believe me, it's hot in the summer and cold in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big benefit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thing I will ask, uh, you know. Don't be afraid to ask questions. And when you're out there with uh, Chris, if he's doing something, I mean, that's the way you're gonna learn. Ask him what he's doing it, why he's doing it, how you how you doing Speaking it, when you do it. Ask those questions. And you'll, uh, another thing too, is we especially get the manufacturing and, and instead of just shoot from the hip, you won't get root causes. And you'll do that, you'll learn how we kind of do the five whys. You know, you got a problem, you ask why, and you just keep going up why to try to get to root cause. Same way out there on Florida, ask why, 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 why. And because that will, you will learn from that. And, but don't be afraid to ask these guys this because at one time that was exactly where you were at. And the only way you will learn is ask those questions. If you don't understand, I'm, I'm the first one to raise my hand still. I'll, I'll ask, I'll ask all day. And you will learn from asking. There's the handiest thing I'll give you today. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Thank you. Do you have one, sir? I'm done with the thing. Thank you. Do now. Thank you. You got your parchment paper still. Okay, good. good. <laughs> so, will you be his supervisor? Uh, well, I mean, he will do that. He can, it doesn't matter to me. It may be best for him to just. With me, because Wayne's got a lot going on. If you're fine, fine with that. I'm, yeah. I'll the biggest thing is I do might just keep up with his time. Time. And, yeah. yeah, that's they're, the, real, they're very good about that. Either Excel spreadsheet, email, how many hours you work. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you know what the is going to be. I'm a supervisor, so they can do a couple pages of that. <clears throat> Sorry, Chris. Are you going to do pictures in here? Yeah. 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 Are you going to do pictures in here? If you are, I'm going to get up and let Robbie sit down because I don't need to be involved. In what? <laughs> Robbie, you ain't known for camera shyness. <laughs> well, it's not that shy, but these are the folks who put this together. And I'm going to get out of there. You all have a location that would uh, kind of illustrate. Yeah, what well, our be lobby doing. has our awards and stuff in it. Yeah, that'd be a good place. Good, yeah. yeah. Where you come in at? Okay. Yeah, that'd be good. Do y'all want to do a little interview right now? You got a minute? Sure. Okay. Well, um, I'm just, I, I have a general idea. I know this is the work-based learning program. And uh, there was four students that spoke at the chamber breakfast last week. And then Connor, Connor's going to be number five. So I'm doing like a series of five. Uh, but just tell me what is, what's going on here just from the beginning. So Sarah actually reached out to me about this position. So I'll let her talk about this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we have been wanting to work with the CTE program for a while now because of how connected they are in the community, everything they do for students wanting to get into some more of a technical field as opposed to a four-year college. Um, a lot of our manufacturing companies are very um, engaged with training new people, but kind of a detriment was the students being on their um, liability. So we partner with them so that we're able to help the students get into some of these larger manufacturing companies and different companies all across Hawkins County so that we will take on the liability of the student. We will help with any coaching assistance that they might need um, so that they can kind of get into the workforce, into a field that they might be interested in to kind of get that training before they might pay to go to a technical school mm -hmm. or something on those lines. And Connor, you're going to be a mechanics helper? Is that what I understood? Um, industrial maintenance. Industrial maintenance, right. okay. All right, well, uh, just tell me what, what, what was your interest and how did you decide that this was something you needed to do? Um, I first started going down here to TCAT 
At volunteer or tricky? At volunteer. Okay. Been going through there and then we started talking and then they said, well, there's this new thing that's came out. You should try it. And then they started talking and then found me a spot to go. Okay. So, so are you excited? Have you have you done work like this before? No. Just study class work? Yeah. Okay. Just mainly book work and everything. I'm actually happy to be able to do hands-on experience with this stuff. Do you tinker at home? Every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> so you know about you know about wrenches and tools and stuff yeah. like that. So you got a basic. Yeah. You're not starting from scratch, basically. No. Okay. All right. Well, how many hours are you going to work a week? You know. So if I calculated it right, it's about five hours a day. So twenty. Yeah. Twenty, 20 hours, hours a week. You're going to work every day through the end of the semester. Is that how it goes? Well, I'm hoping mm-hmm. to do. Okay. As much experience. My desire to recommend them will get you about eighty hours in a week. <laughs> well, I, they had the, la- the lady, the, the young woman that spoke at the breakfast. She got hired on after her time yeah. this class ended. Yeah. So, um, well, uh, who wants? Can somebody describe for me what Connor's duties are? What his responsibilities? Uh, that's fine. I'll, I'll start there. Uh, he's going to be working second shift with Chris Flag, and Chris is a, a mechanic. Uh, actually, he done his training at TCAT. So, but he is a, he's been with the company roughly a, a year and a half. about a year and a half. So he's mechanical and electrical. And that's one of the things that at Monday we're driving to have multi-craft, which uh, that way they can work mechanical or electrical, uh, working with Robbie on the apprenticeship program. And so those are some opportunities that will be offered going down the road. Uh, we're identifying training uh, that's needed for even new employees. And we'd be glad to let, uh, Connor take the test because what we call it is a Nazi test, NLCTI, I think. But we will actually, that will uh, show him the opportunities or I will say weaknesses, but areas of improvement that he can mechanically or electrical. We'll be doing the same thing with our, our employees now. But he'll be uh, working with Second Shift. We'll be working with him on lockout tagout. Uh, again, he will be more of a, a machine helper, but lockout tagout. Um, we'll be doing confined entry space. Uh, which we probably won't have you do that, but still we'd like for you to go through the training. That's going to be a week of the March 4th. So one of the good things with a, a larger company is, you know, you have got the confined space. You have got the lockout tag out, uh, working from heights, uh, scissorly. So there'll be a lot of opportunities for you to, to learn the, the whole, the whole, I guess, the, the maintenance way of, you know, in the, within the plants. So it'll be good opportunities. Again, um, we will, you'll be working closely just with our maintenance guys and the time when he comes in, he'll be able to get the update from day shift and he can actually be able to pass on to a second shift too because he'll be here with you know, days and seconds. I, I think one of the best ways to learn how to do something is to actually do it. Is that what Connor's gonna be doing? He will, again, yes, he will be, we will not send him out on a job by himself. Mm-hmm. Uh, even uh, at other companies, been, anytime we got an apprentice, we won't send an apprentice out by themselves to do the job. But you'll be working closely with a mechanic. Uh, again, you'll be helping. You'll be a helper. Come in here. I, I did that, me. so I know what that's all about. Hand, hand me this. Go get me that. Hand me this. That's yeah. <laughs> but he can, do, he can be a help and an assisting thing from a bearing change to yeah. a yeah. program and a PLC with, you know, with and Chris. So it's this weekend we got right. yeah, we got bearing changes on mm-hmm. Chris, and again, it's not just going to be you know get that on my toolbox or run. This would be hold this or like say hold the bearing. No, it's a good point though. Because a lot of places will do that, and yeah. but we will make your opportunity here. The time you're here, learn as much as you can in the maintenance. We're not just going to put you out there in a maintenance shop and just let you sit there. We want you working with the maintenance guy to learn as much as you can. That's the reason I encourage you to ask why, 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 why. And so it'll be a it'll be a good opportunity to learn and also like I said earlier to ensure that this is what you want to do. So what would you like to, coming out of, at, at the end of graduate, are you, you going to graduate? Yes. Okay, so when, when you graduate and this class is over, what would you like to have accomplished? To accomplish my industrial maintenance certification, get all that good and gone, and hope that this is a field that I'm wanting to continue in and everything else. Are you going to uh, post-secondary at the tr- trade center, the trade school, or? Yeah. He can't? Continue. So, okay. Yeah. Is there opportunity for him to stay on after his time is over? I guess that will, I'll let Robbie answer that one. I would say yes to that. We are either looking at building a apprenticeship program, which he could step into, or mm-hmm. if we have an opening at that point, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, is there any, oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to ask, Connor, you're, you're duly enrolled now, right? You're yes. part of the yes. TCAT currently. Yeah. <clears throat> As so an he, example, back to a couple of years ago, we hired 
four? When we hired Chris, I think we hired four from the TCAP that we had just finished. Yeah. Chris was the one that stayed with us. The other ones, I, I didn't. I only had one maintenance position, so I hired the other three as machine operators. Yeah. And of course, when the, when a maintenance position opened up somewhere, Sarah may have stole them. I don't know. <laughs> 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 when a, when a, when a maintenance out. position opened up, it was <laughs> obvious that they, you know, they, they came in very respectable, mm -hmm. uh, gave their notice that hey, I'm going to wherever, uh, mm -hmm. technical ass wherever as a maintenance person. So I understand that. I, know. I, wish I, could, I wish I could hire them all. We only had one and Chris uh, rose to the top. It's a lot easier to get a job if you have experience, but you can't get a job sometimes without experience. So now you're you're going to have something for your yeah. resume. So that's, that's true. And once he gets through at the end of the semester here, and whether it's interviewing here or company B, I mean, you're going to be able to talk to lockout tagout. You're going to talk to as far as, you know, uh, scissors lift, how you do certain things, procedures. So you're going to be able to talk that maintenance to the new company, whether it's here or another place. So that'll be a great opportunity for him to, to learn. Mm -hmm. and what I would like, I'd like to hang on. We've trained him. If we say yeah. we spend a year or whatever it is, I was picking the time off the top of my head. I don't want that training to walk off on us either. So right. I'd like to you know, make a position or. Well, hopefully it'll work out for the best. Yeah. I know this, these guys have a high success rate, so. <laughs> yeah.